Thank you, Coach. We are in the Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the San Antonio Marshals and the Seattle Seahawks. Here's Steven Goskowski now to kick this one off. And off we go from Seattle. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now, first and 15 following the delay of game. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. Go, go, go. And they work this well up field across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. about the 39 here four yards on the pickup it'll be second down on any running play this call they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance but when you get a nice game like that you're able to do so many things anyway you can come back and run essentially the same play again continue to move the ball on the ground or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels now a second down throw for the end zone but it's incomplete An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Hey, check 26. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their own 16. From the shotgun, Wilson. Flush to his right. Sideline throw, it's complete. 
And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Now Wilson on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one who has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen across the 30 to the 31-yard line. The first-round pick, Jair Alexander, making the tackle. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, Wilson. And this one is incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. This is fielded at the seven. Twelve yards on the return that time. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now this offense about ready to take over again. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They start on the ground with McCaffrey. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards on the play. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get them out in the flat, and let them have a chance to make people miss an open field. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Oh my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Working from the gun, Rodgers. It's caught by Mike Evans. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Here's Rodgers to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. Quarterback in 101. Never force the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Earl Thomas in on the stop. Throwing now is Rodgers. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing. Ran to it and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. And that is 
no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their own 43. Now Wilson rolling to his right. He's going to let this go deep back over the middle. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. He gets away from one. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. 